your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest
I know. 
I thought I'd go through the supplies that I got. So these are all of the items that I bought from my local discount store. So I've been to a few different discount stores and they usually have a craft aisle. Now I got these little mini easel and canvas. Um, from there they were around $3. I also got these little bottles, they're glass bottles with corks, and I thought that I would make little, um, that make them into little vases. This one here is a little chest, I think that one was from the toy aisle, and then I got these little mini containers which I'm storing all of my stationary bits and pieces, sorry that's just the train. I also got lots of different sizes of these popsicle sticks, so there's these little mini ones, longer ones, and these really big ones here. And I also got little matchsticks as well. So I got a whole bunch of these. Now all of this cost around $20. Now these are the items I got from Kmart. So I found these little, um, they're four doll houses, but they're actually quite large. So I've taken out the drawers and I'm going to be using the drawers separately. So this is going to be my bookshelf. Um, these ones are going to be my cupboards. And then this one over here is going to be my desk. And that used to be a little um, a wardrobe for a doll's house. I've also got these clothes. These clothes were all in the dollar section. So as you can see, they were a dollar. Now they were oversized clothes, like clothes that were larger sizes or too small. Um, and that was sort of all chucked on a dollar rack. I also got this stack of three mini books. And I'm going to be cutting these up to make miniature books. So instead of creating my own, I'm just going to cut along the binding and I'm going to be creating my own miniature books out of these three. Um, but I'll show you how I'm going to do that in a second. And I'm also going to be making some curtains. So I got these little mini tassels to put along um, and tie up the curtains. So those are all the items I got from Kmart and then that cost me around $20 as well. So I think these were $6 each. These fabrics were a dollar, this one's a tea towel for a dollar, and then I think this one was three and that one was around two dollars, so yeah. Before we move on to the items that I already had in my home, um, I also just wanted to show you that I printed out these templates from Office Work. So basically I put together all of these, I found these ones off Google, so some moleskin books as well as my favourite magazines and some Pocky that I'm going to cut out and create. So I created that one little myself and I thought that was really adorable, I'm going to be creating these, um, I'm going to be turning these into little magazines. This is a little miniature envelope set, so I'm going to be cutting that out as well. This one here is a typewriter. And then these ones I found online, so I literally just typed into Google um, miniature art studio templates or miniature art studio printables, I think it was. And then I got these so I can put all these together, these little boxes to create all the pens and crayons and um, pencils and also a few drawing books, like um, books for um, sketching. These are the same, so sketching books, and I'm going to be cutting those out and putting them in my bookshelf. I also got these off Google, so a few um, oil colour pastels and watercolouring pastel set and paint sets. This one was just straight off the internet, so this was a miniature book template that I'm going to be cutting out as well. And then these are a few uh, suitcases. So I thought it'd be really cool to have a few trunks and boxes as well. So that's all of them. So as I said previously, one of the reasons why I actually wanted to make a miniature art um, studio is because I wanted a place to put all my mini mails. And these are cute little mini um, journals that people have made me. So I'm going to be putting these in my bookshelves and also on the desk. But I just thought it'd be such um, a cute idea to put the mini mails in a mini dollhouse. So I had a few miniatures already throughout my house, so this was given to me, it's a little rubber stamp and it's a little miniature. Um, this little wax seal set, I thought it was small enough to put in there. These pencils are supposed to be buttons, but I'm going to be using them as pencils. A little thimble for a pot plant holder, some screws and scissors. So these are all things that I had around my house already that I'm going to be putting in my art studio. Thanks for watching me create this little um, art studio. I had a really fun time creating it. it turned out better than I expected and if you have any other DIY projects that you want me to create let me know in the comments below thanks again I'll see you guys in the next one bye